Let's examine a hypothetical example of an agency RMBS. Tyler, Lee and Ashok are US homeowners whose mortgages satisfy the conforming mortgage criteria. These mortgages are pooled together as collateral for a mortgage pass-through security. The mortgages are said to be securitized. The securitized mortgages in the pool can be aggregated to provide meaningful statistics for potential investors. The total principal of all the loans when added up is $10 million. The weighted average coupon of the pool is the weighted average of the interest rates of all the mortgages in the pool. The weight is each mortgage's outstanding principal balance as a proportion of the total outstanding principal of all the mortgages in the pool. If we plug in the figures, we calculate a 10% rate. Likewise, we use the same method to find the weighted average maturity of the pool, which is 15 years. Based on these figures, our mortgage pass-through security has a total principal of $10 million, the coupon rate it receives is 10%, and has a weighted average maturity of 15 years. Let's say the security is sold to two investors, Mario and Kim. Mario placed a principal of $7 million, while Kim placed the remaining $3 million. So every month, Tyler, Lee and Ashok continue to make their regular scheduled payments for their respective mortgages. Since they're fully amortizing loans, a portion of the payment is interest payment, and the rest is principal payment. The principal goes to repay the principal owed to the investors of the agency RMBS. The principal amount of the RMBS is therefore reduced accordingly. The interest payment also gets passed through to the investors. However, not all of it is paid to the investors. A portion of it will go to pay servicing or other fees, like the insurance fee for the credit guarantee by the GSE. The actual rate that gets passed through to the investors is known as the pass-through rate. So, for example, if the fees amount to 0.5%, Mario and Kim shall get a pass-through rate of 9.5%. What we have here are payments that are scheduled. When payments simply go as scheduled every month, this RMBS behaves similarly to a fully amortizing bond with $10 million principal and 9.5% monthly coupon. However, that's not likely the case. The borrowers have the option of making prepayments at any time. This makes the future cash flows to the investors unpredictable. This is known as prepayment risk to the investors. To account for the likelihood of prepayments, issuers often estimate an expected prepayment rate from which the weighted or simple average life of the security can be calculated. Still, this is just a forecast and actual prepayments can differ significantly from expectations, mainly due to changes in market interest rates. If market interest rates fall such that the borrowers can refinance at now available lower interest rates, actual prepayments will be higher than forecasted. Thus, the security will have a shorter maturity than was anticipated. This is known as a contraction risk. In contrast, when market interest rates rise, prepayments will be lower than forecasted because homeowners are reluctant to give up the benefits of a contractual interest rate that now looks low. As a result, the security will have a longer maturity than was anticipated. This is known as extension risk. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prepnuggets, let us do the hard work for you.